Okay, so I used the expression, I was talking about a tenant uh, earlier on. Uh, I need to inquire this situation to death, is what I said. And uh, uh, one of the people asked me, can you shoot a video on what do, what do I mean by inquire something to death? What I'm talking about is using self-inquiry of the observer uh, to transcend something until it no longer exists. Um, so this is, you know, when I have um, something that seems to keep coming back, like um, a grievance against a tenant, then I'll, um, I'll say I need to inquire it to death. So it's like, it seems to reappear, the story about the tenant seems to re reappear, and there's, um, there's an unwillingness from the ego to inquire, inquire it to death. That's true, you know, for me, it's true. It's like, well, I, I know how to inquire something to death, but am I willing to do it? You know, am I willing to sit down for three hours nonstop and see the thought and then go to the witnesser until there's silence and then wait for the thought to come back and immediately go back into the, you know, who's observing it and is there an observer where it ceases to exist and just dissolve it? So what if I keep doing that non-stop in a 100% focused way, it will start to destroy the capacity for that to reappear because it's like the only reason it keeps reappearing is because I'm unwilling, you know, I'll, you know, I'll sort of like um, carry on with my day and do, you know, wash the dishes, prepare my food and stop inquiring it rather than, um, you know, doing that focused work until it until it ceases to reappear it's like i keep clearing it and keep clearing it and keep clearing it with it like a dogged determination until the ego go gives up and says there's nothing there now it's disappeared so that's what i mean it's like um but you know my thing is sometimes if there's not enough pain i'll do some inquiry on it then i'll cancel it then you know I might share about it in a spiritual group so that's a more slower way than being a hunt, you know, just really sort of say, okay, today I'm just going to sit on my chair and wait for these thoughts and then observe it or can or, or cancel it nonstop. I cancel my belief that I've got a tenant that's not paying rent. I'm an infinite being. Just do, if you just do that over and over again for ten hours, it's like the ego just gives up. It says like, oh, there isn't anything there to cancel. It will just give up eventually. It's only because I don't do that for ten hours nonstop. I won't sit down and observe it nonstop until it can't reappear. It's like it just absolutely vanishes it and it won't reappear. The ego gives up with uh, focus. So that's what I mean by inquiring something to death or cancelling it to death. I mean, literally, it could be like, you know, or just sit there for 12 hours nonstop, forget, it, forget everything else in the day and just say, I cancel my belief. I've got a tenant uh, that uh, is not paying rent. I'm an infinite being. You know, it will, it will cause extreme pain to the ego and it will just eventually give it up. It just won't come back. It goes, the ego goes like, if you have to do another 10 hours tomorrow, I won't do it. I won't give it back to you. I surrender. Or if you just keep observing and go deeper into the silence for 10 hours, the ego, at a certain point, you will destroy the ego's capacity. You'll go through the pain barrier and the ego will just surrender it because it's just been um, dissolved to death. So that's what I mean by having that tenacity to really put such extreme pain on the ego that it, it does surrender it. And I have done that in the past, 12 hours of nonstop work when there's been significant stuff. And, and the ego gives, gives it up pretty quickly because it, it will, under such focused effort, just to surrender whatever, because it, it's being, it's being um, it, the grounds for its survival are just being uh, uprooted.